What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pirate Technic Plays Nocturne Rebirth. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to the Forest of Origins. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Mr. Reviel? Stay back. These monsters are a little too strong for you to handle alone. These aren't regular monsters. They're devils. Well, they're low-class devils, but such monsters are still pretty rare. The magic skills would be a nuisance. I'll have to stop attacking and guard when either of them st start starts performing a large magic chant. Alright. 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 My... My, my my formation is all goofy. I right, huh. right. I hope you're ready. Cause I'm gonna warm it up! Is that all you got? Woo! Come on, baby. Ugh. Ugh. I can do this all day! Well, okay, I guess I can't. But I will do this. Ugh. Oh shit, oh shit! Demonstrate a little something. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was supposed to use Dom instead of that. Damn it. Alright. There you go, Reviel. Drink up. Get him. Oh shit. Alright, I better heal again. Because I know they got a chant coming, probably. Dodge, nice dodge. They haven't done a freaking attack on me yet. Huge magic chance. <sighs> oh shit, there it goes. Better guard. Beautiful. Guard again. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We 
got this. Come on. Got him. Why are there devils here? Never mind them being low-class devils. Thank you very much, Mr. Reviel. You saved me once again. Uh, um, Mr. Reviel? Why are you here? I, um, I'm here to pick herbs. Pick herbs? Can't you see that this place is infested with monsters? Well, this place was not originally infested with monsters until now. It was most, it was at most inhabited with wild animals. I see. I can't speak. Uh, Mr. Reviel, you're injured from the fight just now. It's only a scratch. I can't... I can't do that. Let me take a look. Oh my. Turn into gentle light that can shine and heal all of creation. Yes, that was me again. Kya! You! Uh, uh, I can't breathe! Mr. Reviel! You weren't able to use that skill before, right? Where did you learn it? Who taught you? Uh, answer me! Uh, hmm. But first, can you promise me just one thing? Promise you one thing? Yes. Now, for these few days, let's see, two days will do. For these two days, you cannot say, can you not say a word about me to the traveler who lives with you? That was just a magic skill. Just a magic skill. No. That skill you used isn't just a magic skill. Uh, that's a thaumaturgy skill. It works differently and is used differently from the magic skills used by humans of the modern era. Thaumatology is now a lost art, and by right only by cer only certain beings, notably devils and excluding humans, are able to use it today. Uh, it's Rastel, isn't it? How... how do you know that name? As I thought. What the hell were you thinking? Um, is she someone you know? Someone I know, huh? Well, you could say that. She and I are the same race, and we've known each other since time immemorial. I wonder if that woman taught this human a thumb tired you still just to provoke me for another blow for another. Oh God! We still looked rather sad when I first met her, but she's a very nice person. <laughs> How foolish! You're really the epitome of the <laughs> of the saying, "Ignorance is bliss," aren't you? No, I'm not. That lady is. We both plan to kill each other. Just so you know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Epitome. 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 I, I said epitome. Oh, you are the epitome. Oh my god. Just so you know, the Maxwell that we encountered back at Chaos's residence is familiar belonging exclusively to her. Huh? That woman is much crueler and colder than me. She probably taught you that skill you used on me earlier just to provoke me. She can constantly see me. She can kill me at any time if she ever sees the opportunity to do so. And she can make use of anything around me, even you, to deal with me as she sees fit. It can't be. The thing about you and her planning to kill each other is simply... It's the truth. I've long forgotten how I even came into existence, but that doesn't matter to me. All that matters is to seek anything that interests me in this worthless world. But still as strong, there's no other being like her. My current battle with her is turning out to be interesting. There's no other battle like that. But it's not enough. I still have the upper hand. She's no different from any other typical man. She's not poor enough to keep me on the verge of death. That's just sad. What rubbish. At any rate, this whole forest is now her playground. You had best return home. No. I'll follow you. 
Didn't you hear what I said? This forest is no longer a safe place that you knew before. Well, you can protect me, right? Do whatever you want. Yes! Oh shit, yeah, boy! Alright, I need to find out what my Brave Clear is. What's my Brave Clear? Give me my Brave Clear. Alright, 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 things are happening. Alright, alright, okay. First things first. My familiar is gone. Okay. Holy crap. Alright, so I got two healers. Alright, I need to know what my brave clear is. Please tell me my brave clear. I don't have time for this. What is my brave god? Did you even have a chance with me? Damn it, what is my brave clear? Oh my god, I'm about to fight Rastil and I don't know what my brave clear level is. Phew. Looks like there are no monsters here. Will this do? Mr. Reviel, what are you doing? Uh, what just happened? Chaos asked me to help him open up a path or something. I'm not very sure of it myself. Hmm. I suppose it won't help to think too much into it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. What? What was that? Something just dropped from the sky. This thing must have been stuck in midair. No, in a gap between dimensions. It looks to be a sword. It was used by a human. It's pretty rusty though. You're right. It's so worn out. There's an inscription on it. It's rather faint, but it believes it reads. Roshu. Uh, let me see it. Uh, there's no more stake about the inscription. What do you know about it? Roshu Hannibal. That's Mr. Rosh's real name. Oh, you mean that blacksmith? So the sword is forged by him, huh? Perhaps so. I don't remember Mr. Rush mentioning him before he forges we before that he forges weapons, though. Well, I wonder about that. This sword was clearly forged for combat use. No, that's not all. It was also made for war. This was once the polished and sharpened sword made specially to kill people. It could slice a person effectively into pieces, including the person's bones. Such a sword that specializes in killing people is extremely rare. And just look at its design. The sword's balance is perfect, and the quality of steel is still great, even in its current rusty state. The sword... You know, the rusty state, first place, you know, stab him in the face. The sword is a completely different level from the sword sold in the village. It's a perfect for sword for changing one. It's a perfect sword for training one's sword skills. I still can't believe how the sword could have been forged by Mr. Roche. Rosh, Rosh, Rosh. Well, in that case, we could just ask the person himself about it, couldn't we? You're right. Let's do that. Obtained rusty sword. Now, is it a good sword? Can I equip it? Can I equip that sword? No. I can't. I have two glass in this. Can I equip things on the moon yet? No. 
Show me has 164 XP. What do you mean she only has 164, dude? Like, what? What are you talking about? Oh! Alright. Alright. I'm on the end of the episode here. I'll put that button on. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the bell, like, subscribe. You know what it is. Uh, say hi in the comments. Let me know what you think about the game. Uh, any tips at all, blah, blah, let me know if I'm doing the right thing. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I make another one.